disappeared and went viral really fast on Twitter regarding the Alec Baldwin incident. For those of you who don't remember, uh, he accidentally shot a person on the set when the armorer responsible handed him an actual live fire weapon. So uh, initially I was a little bit confused by how things worked. I thought that uh, on the set they have replicas or at least the guns that they have aren't supposed to function like real guns. But apparently I was wrong and uh, because of that gun safety should have applied. I as a Romanian know what gun safety is despite the fact that I'm living in one of the most restrictive gun countries in the world. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I love the fact that actors, you know, uh, that they're really scared about weapons, but if they actually knew a little bit about gun safety, none of this would have happened. So uh, the way it works is that uh, you should never put your finger on the trigger at any point unless you want to shoot. Uh, you should consider that there's like a laser coming from your gun and uh, it slices people in half. So like you, you need to avoid pointing the laser to other people, you know, like even if the gun is not loaded. Because that leads to number three. Always assume that the gun is loaded under any circumstance, right? So had these uh, safety measures been applied, no incident would have occurred. But, well, it is what it is. A lot of people are also pointing out the fact that the lady, which uh, was the armorer, was uh, too inexperienced for the job. Uh, there were other problems with her on the set previously. Uh, but many people say, well, you know, in the name of equity and uh, we need to have more diversity and uh, th this could have uh, caused the issue. I don't know in the realm of this lady in particular, but um, that's what people are talking about online. Now, when this came out, a lot of individuals said, well, hold on a little bit. Is it because Adam Baldwin is uh, very famous and connected? Is this why the charges are being dropped? Because apparently the charges are being dropped uh, to the lady armorer as well. So one person died and there's no one to blame? Like, no one, no, no one goes to jail over it? Well, the thing is, people are getting outraged without actually reading uh, the article. Because if you scroll down, which a lot of people don't do, uh, they mentioned that in a statement... Thursday night, uh, Morsi and Lewis said that new facts were revealed that demand further investigation and forensic analysis in the case. And because uh, we cannot proceed out of the current time constraints and on the fact that the evidence turned over uh, by law enforcement in its existing form, we therefore uh, will be dismissing the involuntary manslaughter charges against uh, Mr. Baldwin to conduct further investigation. This decision does not absolve Mr. Baldwin of criminal culpability and charges may be refiled. Our follow-up investigation will remain active and ongoing. So basically what they're saying is that there's new evidence that came to light. I don't know, maybe Agent 47 was on the set or something in the matter. But uh, they're, they're suggesting that because they have found new evidence to the case, uh, this could change everything, but they cannot figure out within the required time limit until the new trial. So what they, until the new court date, sorry. So what they're going to do is they're going to keep investigating and depending on what they come up with, they may recharge Baldwin and the lady again. Of course, uh, you know, like people are saying, well, Hollywood, well connected. It is possible, I don't know. But what I do know is that they are not claiming that he hasn't um, done it and that he may not have any guilt, right? Like, obviously, innocent until proven guilty, but what I'm talking about is, like, suspicious enough for him to warrant an investigation. So they are not saying that. What they are saying is that they are going to look into it a little bit more. They need more time. And until they can have more time, they're not going to maintain the, the, the same accusations on Alec Baldwin and the armorer. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.